Soiny have bent the knee as copyright strikes from lots of different YouTube channels suddenly get overturned. Not just myself and just some guy. Or is there one final Hail Mary up Soiny's sleeve? Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface on Friday, Saturday morning technically, 3am, but Friday, Saturday, uh, put out a video saying that the uh, copyright claims on my channel and the channel of Just Some Guy had been removed by Soiny Entertainment Interactive Up Yours Online, America, Europe, Shire, and both of our channels were fully restored. The copyright strikes on our channels were very quickly removed as they were incorrectly filed, as mentioned before. However, there was a bunch of other YouTubers, small and large alike, that had gone through different processes and had not heard back. Uh, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, his gaming channel was struck uh, Ryan Cannell, who uh, had two strikes placed against him, which also, I believe, affected the Geeks and Gamers uh, group of uh, channels as a whole. Uh, so that became problematic. And uh, Manix had received two, one or two. And there was a lot of smaller YouTubers, very upset as well, smaller YouTubers, who had received strikes purely because they decided to discuss The Last of Us Part 2 leaks. Nobody had any involvement in it. According to Soiny themselves, they have found uh, the party and they had nothing to do with Naughty Dog or Soiny, which, as we all know, is bollocks! Utter rubbish. It had to. So somewhere in that chain, there is definitely either a former developer or a current developer. So don't take that uh, as gospel one single solitary bit. However, this Monday morning, this crazy Monday morning, a Monday where YouTube overturn a demonetized, a self-demonetized video. I demonetized... My Batwoman video saying that it was two shouty, naughty, sweary poos. And YouTube went, nah, it's fine, mate. And gave me a green sticker of love. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Or PP's ass. Uh, so, this crazy Monday, Jeremy tweets this out. Dear Geeks and Gamers, in accordance with the Digital Millennial DMCA, We've completed processing your counter notification. The following videos have been restored unless you delete them. Boom, his video's back. Now, this is 10 days, 10 working days. Weekends do not class uh, in this. Uh, 10 working days since he counter claimed, which meant Sony made the specific decision not to pursue legal action. Let's just talk about legal action for a moment. Yes, I bring all the girls to the yard with my legal talk. Call me Nick Ricada. Or Hoglaw. So, there's, there's, a, there's a slight difference between what we did and what Jeremy did. Uh, Jeremy immediately count, uh, put in a counterclaim. A couple of days later, some of the other guys did as well. Ryan, I think, immediately did. Mannix immediately did. Some of the other people were umming and ahhing because they were worried. They were concerned. They didn't want their channel going. They didn't quite know what to do. But uh, with, when it came to just some guy, myself, and Mr. H Reviews, there was uh, varying degrees of legality involved. I believe that Mr. H Reviews consulted with his solicitor, I consulted with my solicitor, and I think just some guy uh, did a lot of his own research to save on some solicitor fees, uh, and uh, looked heavily into uh, the aspect of what they were trying to claim. However, 
somebody like Soini isn't going to be thrown by some guys in their front rooms with webcams or no webcams saying, oh, we're going to sue you. No. What you get worried about is when you say, we're going to sue you because of these reasons. And then you specifically highlight the reasons. And the reasons were, of course, the false filing of the DMCA claims and the false filing of the copyright strikes. Soini had actually breached the law. They had broken the law in the manner in which they went about this. So it wasn't just bravado of we're going to do this, we're going to do that. It was very specific. I said that my uh, solicitor was chomping at the bit. I mean, solicitors are cool. Well, not, not cool as in <laughs> you know, the calm people, the rational people. So when I say chomping at the bit, he was just like, well, look, these are your options. Okay, but they have done this incorrectly, that incorrectly, the other incorrectly. You have a very strong case here when it comes to... So he, he was very happy to, to say, let's go forward. And he was leaving it to me to make a decision. And I said, right, look, give me the weekend to think about this and I'll come back to you on Monday. Friday night comes around, Saturday morning comes around, my video gets released anyway. So I need just go, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. And they drop the claims. I believe it's because they are fully aware that they have breached copyright law. And they know that they wouldn't have a leg to stand on in court. Yes, they could delay us. Yes, they could try and drain our funds. But I think one thing that was very specific is we were very vocal and very loud. We weren't backing down and we're making sure our voice was heard. And... And I'm not trying to be crass here, but that was bringing a lot of people to the channels. A lot of people to the channels, watching the videos, and what was it doing? It was building more and more support behind us. So if legal action, if it came to legal action, people were saying, hey, we will support you. Put up a GoFundMe. We will support you. So suddenly, when you've got hundreds of thousands of people watching your videos with 98, 99% approval ratings, as in people didn't like what Soini were doing, and then they're saying, hey, we will back you up. We've seen it with your boy Zach with Mark Wade. That fund, people actually do support them, and things like that keep going. So Soini might be able to drag it on, but a GoFundMe or something like that could have sustained a smaller YouTuber like us. A small, insignificant person in their eyes. But it wasn't just the only one. Jeremy had his stuff restored. He can now stream. Mannix, same here. We've completed processing your counter notification. The following videos have been restored unless you've deleted them. His video discussing the leaks restored. Mannix has been uh, tweeting at us and others over the course as, as regards to what to do. And when he showed us that, that final image of what they were trying to claim in the last video I did, I said that is utter bollocks. That is fair usage in anyone's eyes. Go for it. File. Dropped. Not saying because of me, I'm saying because they have totally incorrectly filed again. Ryan Cannell, RK Outpost. Accordance with the Digital Millennial Copyright Act, we've completed processing your counter notification. The following video has been restored, unless you've deleted them. Do you notice a pattern which is happening here, people? Restored, restored, restored. Now, Ryan has a second copyright strike. But he has claimed that, but his 10 days won't be up until Thursday. All of the claims that you're seeing now that have been restored are because after 10 days, Soini did not decide to take action. 
There is one Hail Mary that Sony may or may not decide to do. I personally don't think they're going to do it. I think they're now cutting the losses. I think they're now hoping that the four weeks that are left until The Last of Us Part 2 releases, people are going to forget and move on. And it's not a bad strategy. Seriously. Out of sight, out of mind. News travels and revolves very quickly on the internet. Something that was big news two days ago is nothing news. Sometimes. I mean, I'm going to make sure I'm very vocal. Very vocal. Before that video, before that video game comes out. I just want to make them perfectly aware of that. I will have something to say before it comes out. But you've had the Ghost of Tsushima, whatever. Those trailers coming out to uh, a lot of positive response. Again, it's another game backed by Sony. Another exclusive for the PlayStation. Could they be slightly concerned that they are now messing with sales? Potential sales of video games. Well, I would have picked up Ghost of Tsushima, but... What with what's going on with Sony... I mean, it might have already caused too much damage. We don't know. But the one Hail Mary that they do have is if they file on Wednesday and strike everybody at the same time on Wednesday with a claim. Not a copyright strike, a claim. If they do that, they can possibly tied the videos up for 30 days however the reason why i don't think they're going to do this this is going to absolutely cement the abuse of the copyright claim system and they will 100 percent be adding fuel to the fire and legal actions will start to begin i will start legal action simple as that I'm pretty sure just some guy will start legal action. There would be no doubt. There would be no doubt, and I would go into that very confidently. But if you have had your channel struck, please, and I'm talking a copyright strike, always uh, go and... and uh, you know, attempt to get your claims taken off, but that's a 30 day process up to. But when it's copyright strike, they've got 10 working days to respond. Appeal your copyright strikes now if you haven't. They haven't a leg to stand on. And if you're concerned, worried, you don't know what to do, contact me. My business email is on the about tab of this channel. Contact me and I will aid you. I'll tell you what to do, okay? Uh, just send an image of your, your copyright strike, etc. So there we go, folks. Sony have bent the knee. They have bent the knee because they have abused the copyright system and people didn't back down. People weren't scared. You might be a multi-billion dollar company, but you can't stop the signal, Mal. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.